Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day as you're watching this video. Today we're going to be starting a new series called Starstruck, and on our first episode we'll be sending some modules to the moon. You can see me building the first of which, which is a sort of habitation or storage module. And there, you just saw me load up the 1.4 parts blueprint, which contains parts that you can't traditionally get in 1.5, such as batteries or RTGs. These parts can be especially useful for detailing your builds, such as using them for grey highlights. However, they're not just useful for their texture, but when electricity does get re-added to the game, the things that you build now are going to be compatible with any new updates. This way, you not only get looks, but you get the convenience of not having to rebuild everything you've made in previous updates. Now we're going to go to the launch aspect of the video, and there you can see we just had a very nice and clean liftoff. While we have a bit of time while we're watching the sped up trajectory of the rocket to orbit, I'll talk about the future of my channel and what's next. As you know, I make quite a lot of memes and short videos on my channel. However, instead of doing those just exclusively, I wanted to diversify my content a little bit and make these casual talk over launch videos where you get to watch a mission on the video and you get to hear me in the background. With this, I'm trying to appeal to a more mature audience. To those who do like the memes, don't worry, I'll still make memes from time to time, but I just don't want them to be the main focus of the channel. I'm still trying out new things, so I would love to hear your feedback. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments. Now, back to the actual mission. All the things I'll be building in this series are going to be no clip, which means I'm not going to be utilizing any clipping, and they're all going to be legit, which means no cheats. I also wanted to talk about that stay tuned teaser I posted the other day, which basically said big changes are coming to the channel. And I've actually been on vacation this weekend and couldn't get this video out as soon as I'd hoped for, so I just quickly made that video and posted it just to have something there. And so if you were confused as to what that was about, because I got some comments asking, is this about the game or is this about your channel? So I just wanted to clear that up. On the topic of clearing things up, I've actually noticed that I've been getting recommended to lots of people who don't even actually play Space Flight Simulator, so that's why I wanted to explain some of the things that are going on in the video instead of just leaving them in the dark. Now while I'm at my periapsis, which is the lowest point in your orbit, I'm going to be turning retrograde, or the opposite direction of your orbit, and will be firing my engines to slow myself down and get myself a landing spot. Since this is the first module I'm sending, I probably should have pinpointed exactly where I was planning to land, but I actually just ended up winging it. This turned out to go pretty well for me, as you can see I landed in between two smaller craters and I'm on some flatlands between two larger craters, which should turn out well when I end up adding more and more modules and expanding the base. Right there you can see we just got our soft landing, and now we're going to set up the first module. Now, while building, in hindsight, I really should have devised some system to actually get the payload safely onto the moon's surface, but instead just ended up sticking landing legs on the second stage. Once I was actually on the surface of the moon itself, there wasn't really much I could do about it, so I just dropped the payload on the surface, hoping I wouldn't break any parts. Luckily, the second stage was not tall enough for me to actually do any damage, so that was just another one of those things that ended up going well for me. For the sake of time, I'm just going to be showing you the fairing deploy and landing of this next module, which is just a tiny little habitation or science module. I did end up clearing debris, so the second stage in the last mission was not there to bother us. And we landed on 1% fuel, which are pretty small margins considering the small size of that fuel tank. And as for putting the payload on the surface, again we're going to be doing the same method as before, just dropping it down. And after some fine tuning, I was able to move the first module over so they're right next to each other. Finally, we're going to be launching three modules on one market. Here we are climbing through the upper atmosphere. And once those fairings deploy, you can see that the three modules we have on here are a science module, a lab, and a fuel dock. On later missions, we might be sending some more fuel to that docking area, so just stay tuned for that. And now I'll show you an uncut view of this landing. Here we started our landing burn at exactly 2,500 meters. And we're coming in pretty hot, you can see I'm cancelling the horizontal velocity out right here. And we're adjusting it until our trajectory gets us right over the base. Soon we'll be deploying those landing legs. And there on the very bottom of the screen, you can see the base and its proximity to us. 
Starting our final landing, we're entering us gently down onto the surface. You can see on the right hand side, I'm just controlling my throttle ever so slightly, cancelling out all our velocity and bringing it down to a nice stop. And for our final clip, I'll just show you guys how the sped up view of the setup of these three modules which was relatively nice actually. I didn't plan it out per se, but it conveniently ended up so that these modules just folded out from each other. You'll definitely notice the weird worm maneuver I'm doing to move these modules on the ground because I didn't actually add any propulsion to it. I just used the torque of the probes to move it around, which worked out nicely for me in the end. Right there, I've unfolded the electric segment and I'm just moving it back to the main module. Again, with our little worm technique, and once we have that position, we're just going to extend the solar panels. Switching over to the other modules will allow us to position those in the right place. Just moving that final fuel dock area around with the probe's torque. And again, in later missions, we will definitely be sending more fuel to dock to the base. That concludes our first episode of Starstruck. Be sure to leave your feedback in the comments below, and make sure you have a nice day.